School uniforms, once considered the standard dress code for private schools, are increasingly becoming the norm in public schools. This presentation critically examines the economic cost of implementing school uniforms. In order to evaluate the economic cost of school uniforms, we will consider the cost and benefits from the view of both supporters and critics, the opportunity cost, and the unintended consequences. By the end of this presentation, one should be able to utilize this information to decide if implementing school uniforms are worth the economic cost. Supporters and critics. The district ran a survey in 2015 involving students, teachers, and parents. Out of the 21,000 respondents, 49% were in favor of uniforms, while 47% were not, with 4% not having an opinion. Overwhelmingly, students were not in favor, but teachers and parents were. This slide focuses on the cost and benefits of implementing school uniforms. One of the main costs of implementing such a policy is that focusing on uniforms steals attention away from finding solutions to problems in education. While a main benefit is that implementing school uniforms improves community and school spirit. This slide focuses on the opportunity costs of implementing a school uniform policy. These opportunity costs include explicit and implicit costs. Explicit costs include the cost of the actual uniforms in addition to the cost of golf carts and administrators' salaries that enforce this policy. Implicit costs include both time and money. This slide focuses on unintended consequences of implementing school uniforms. A big negative unintended consequence is that uniforms were supposed to cut down on time spent enforcing the dress code, yet they actually increased the amount of time spent on dress code. A positive unintended consequence is that by enforcing the uniform policy, administrators have caught habitual offenders that may have gotten in bigger trouble. In conclusion, the uniform policy in Volusia County is one that has significant opportunity costs and is an issue that has low public support from the students. Each school should be given the opportunity to consider both the explicit and implicit costs before deciding to implement this policy. This PowerPoint presentation also utilized these sources. Thank you.